What's up guys, welcome to the official WR Wiffle pitching tutorial. Today, me and Ty got 10 of our best pitches and we're gonna show you exactly how we throw them. Make sure you guys tag us with some pitches of clips of you guys throwing them and let us know how you guys like them. Here we go, going in the first pitch. My grip for the slider is pretty much a basic slider grip. Holes to the right if you're a righty. Uh, you're gonna want your middle finger across the holes, your thumb not on the holes. I like to put it right next to them. And then when you throw it, you want to come over. You can just want to spiral like a football to get that extra, extra slide movement. My three tips for this are spiral like a football, aim lower because it will rise, and don't overthink throwing it to the right because then it will just end up being flat. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my overhand drop ball. So for this pitch, for a righty, you're gonna want the hole to the left, and then just put your fingers over like this. Now, the one thing about this pitch is when you throw it, you don't wanna throw it over like that with the holes parallel. You wanna flip your wrist over like that and just throw it straight over the top, just like a fastball. It's probably gonna be the easiest pitch to throw other than like a riser. So yeah, just hole to the left, Turn your wrist over and just throw it down like a fastball. The third pitch we'll be showing you how to throw today is my riser. My flat riser, so this one just rises straight up. You'll see ties has screw on it but for my grip holes down fingers across just like your slider grip only you're just going to turn the ball here you don't want to throw from a comfortable summer ring angle and my goal my uh tip for this is to aim right below the strike zone and follow through straight and here's my riser Guys, I'm gonna be teaching you my sub screw. It's basically a riser with some screw on it. You're gonna go riser grip so it holds to the right, and then throw a sidearm like this so it holds down and it pushes up. And the thing about this pitch is you're not gonna to wanna to throw straight across your body, you wanna get in a low angle so you can throw the holes like that so it rises and pushes it that way. So basically, instead of throwing your riser like that, you're gonna to wanna to get down and throw it like that. And just work at it with a lower angle. See what you're comfortable with. It's pretty, pretty simple. The next pitch I'll be showing you guys is the drop ball, which is opposite of the riser. So instead of holes down, holes up, you want to have your pointer finger on the holes, your middle finger to the right, and your thumb for support. I like it right on the end of the holes. For this, you're going to want to go straight, and you want to flick and let that thing roll off your wrist and your fingers to get as much spin and drop and let the air do its thing. So here's my drop ball. All right, guys, I'm going to show you my banana ball slash slurve slash super drop, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you're going to go slider grip, and then you want to go middle finger in a hole, and then your thumb, you're going to flip around and then also put in a hole. So you're kind of holding it like that with both your fingers in the hole. This is definitely the toughest pitch to learn, not only to like hold, but to spin and to throw. So you want to have your fingers in the hole, and then when you throw it, you want to think of turning your forearm over like this 
and flipping the ball upwards not to where it would hurt your elbow or wrist it's not like you're not like really getting torque on the ball but you just want to throw it to where the holes are pointing up and you're going to flick the ball upward and have it tumble down all right also a big tip is have a loose grip on the ball you don't want to really wrap your fingers around it you want to have a lot less tension on the ball that, that is was I'm good. Right. Okay, that's... Yes. Next pitch I'm gonna show you guys how to throw is the screwball. For this one, you're gonna want holes to the left. You want your pointer finger on the holes, middle finger to the right. And I like to have my thumb right on the holes too, just to get that extra screw. Pretty much the uh, same uh, grip as the drop ball. But for this, you're gonna wanna come over top and try to get the holes pointing to the left with a little bit of a down angle so it can go straight down and to the right. Um, throw this pitch as like a fastball with a little bit of angle to it. Let it roll off your fingers and this is the screwball. Next pitch I'm gonna show you guys how to throw is the fast slider slash straight up overhand riser. Same as a slider grip, but you really wanna whip your arm, get that fast arm movement through the zone. And you wanna aim low and have it rise up into the zone in my slide a little. And this is good for when you're fast pitch, there's no speed limit, and you're really just trying to chuck one into the zone. So aim low and to the right, and it'll kinda rise up into the zone, have a little bit of slider into it. And here's my fast slider slash overhand riser. All right, I'm going to be throwing my knuckleball. Only thing you have to know about knuckleball is you want to have your fingers in the holes. At least you want to dig your fingers into the holes, kind of like that. Doesn't matter how many fingers you have. I throw it with four fingers. I guess three in the holes, one kind of on the side and then thumb on the bottom. But you can do two. You can try one. Just work with it. Doesn't matter where arm angle you throw it from. You can throw it overhand. I throw my sidearm. Just as long as you have your fingers in the holes and just let go of the ball and let it wiggle around in the zone. <laughs> Thanks. Let it wiggle around in the zone. Wiggle around. Is that good? Yeah. Bro. Bro. All right guys, for the last pitch of the video, I'm gonna be showing you my slide drop. Basically, you're gonna start holes to the left. And then when you throw it, you wanna come as low of an arm angle as you can. Basically, almost underhand without throwing underhand.